We're back. A same old world. Can you read my world? <laughs> Our text! No, no, Falcor! Um, For you and me. <laughs> Rescuers down under. A whole new war. <laughs> yeah, those are pretty much all the movies. Don't you that, dare let me go. <laughs> those are pretty much all the movies they very lovingly ripped off. Um, like, almost shot for a shot of, like, that Superman. I do want to say, I had meant this to you, by the way. Whoa, it got, like, really dark. Though. I'm wow. going to put the exposure on automatic. That's, uh... Are you going to edit this out of the final? Or did you just leave this in? Like, I'll, I'll just, just leave it this in. This is the behind the scenes. Wow, you... Oh, so lazy. There we go. Okay, so we, we might go in and out in terms of that, but the all wow. exposure will um, go. I did want to say, just before I forget, the sound of Lapis's wings, that slushy sound, is like one of the most disgusting things I've ever heard. <laughs> I'm like, it sounds so wrong. <laughs> I'm just like, do, you, do you remember in X-Men whenever, It sounds like, very, like, it sounds like I'm listening to a porno going on. You, re you remember in X-Men whenever Mystique or, like, Morph would change to someone else, and it's kind of like... <laughs> And you kind of get it because it's like bone and flesh moving around and changing, but it's like, yeah, when it's supposed to be like these elegant wings, it is a little weird. It, it is. How does water fly? It is. How some, does that work? It is some very wet, nasty sex <laughs> sounds going on. <laughs> it a is literally wet. picture. Oh, um, God, I hope there's no kids watching. <laughs> you um, see, when a man and a woman like each other just enough. <laughs> um. So this. Uh, I actually really like this episode um, a lot. Uh, I did again, too. <laughs> you did too? I did too. That's good. Good, we're done. Now we can watch okay, the Okay, let's one. go. Um, no, this is one of those where it's like, again, kind of like the one where Steven and Peridot get to know each other. It's like, we've kind of seen this before, but it's done well, and I like it, and it's charming, and it's interesting. The opening felt like an epilogue. Yeah. All right. Let's go home. <laughs> I was just like, oh. I mean, normally that happens at the end of an episode, but all right. <laughs> I really like it when a show acknowledges that a character's done a lot of shit and they need to rest. I love it when all this stuff happens and then either at the very end or the beginning of the next episode, you just see him sleeping. And it's like, you get it. You know, it's like you're not a machine, you need to relax, and it feels I warranted. have seen shit and I'm taking it out! Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I really like opening up with that with her sleeping, and I like her trying to take off, not knowing where to go, um... Man, you know, that voice is, uh, yeah, I, I kind of forgot. What a fragile-sounding voice no, She's a fragile-looking character. No, I mean, but I feel like, like she's going to snap like a twig at any well, well, and you know all the stuff, like, she's gone through and everything. It's like it kind of makes sense. But, yeah, just just the emoting through that voice and kind of the shakiness and the crackling. Well, I mean, the, just the really character works. design, her shoulders are always kind of hunched. Her hair is yeah. always kind of, like... Yeah, even the outfit, the it's not, like, armor. Pearl, like, is very rail-thin, too. But she carries herself stronger. I don't feel like she's gonna snap. Like Lapis, yeah, she I just stands I feel up like straight, Lapis is primitive. just gonna like turn into a puddle and he's uh. having this sploosh with the same sexual yeah. <laughs> sploosh. Um, um, <laughs> man, you were really we're, fixated on this, aren't you? We are. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm don't don't worry. What's this? You know week? what it is? It's that. It's this, it's this little kid talking to this girl about friendship and emotions. I gotta dirty it up somehow, man. <laughs> we're watching cartoons. You gotta man. dick it up, man. You gotta dick it up. <laughs> no, uh, actually, it's funny. The irony is, I'm a sucker for friendship stories. So I really like this one a lot. Yeah. Um, um, and, uh, I especially love when they go into the backstory, and I love the way they show it, those just simple shapes, simple colors, okay, did you follow just totally that? black. I, like, I zoned out for, like, one second. I, I, you know what? I think I zoned out the same moment, At too. At the same was point, like, it was like, somewhere, wait, what? somewhere in the middle of the story, it's like, and then I was found, and then they were interrogating me, and I'm like, wait, I, I was like, uh, it was like space balls, I was, what? Where? Who? <laughs> like, the um, I completely no, missed it. I was like, was it the rebellion I, that got her? And I, the, that I can't. I'm assuming it's the bad side, but I'm not positive. You know, it's one of the two sides. We know that, like, you know, but some sort of the bad side. I mean, the re the rebellion is Pearl. Yeah, and, no, rebellion's the good side, and um, uh, Garnet and Amethyst. But and bottom line, she seemed to dim not be on any side. Rose, she was just the sitting Professor around, Marianne. Just, yeah, um, she was just sitting around watching, you know, whatever the sun or whatever, and then just shit starts exploding. Someone goes, "Ha!" Turns her into a it gem, was and then she's found. You know what's funny utilized. is the the show lulled me into such a false sense of security that this was going to be slow. That story was delivered so, so like, pay fast. Attention, like, pay attention! Pay attention! Oh shit! What I miss? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I missed. Who, They'll explain it to us in the comments. I'm yeah, sure. <laughs> I, I missed who put it. Uh, who put her on the 
mirror and was like getting answers out of her and stuff. I missed that part. We're probably just gonna go back and watch it, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I, I'm scene. assuming it's the bad guys, but maybe, maybe it's the rebellion. But that sounds unlikely. But that would be like, interesting. You know I don't like the way you say bad guys. They're just doing. They're just they trying to destroy the no earth. Good guys and bad guys. They're just guys. They're just guys. It's this is what nature is. It's not even guys. Fight. There's no men it's, in the yeah. gems. It's just, <laughs> it's just gals. It's just gems. <laughs> Gem. Jim, it's my name. Jim. Um, <laughs> totally outrageous. <laughs> Truly outrageous. Truly Thank you. Truly outrageous. Um, but, uh, Can you tie it and watch the show much? <laughs> but so it, it's just, but, but, but yeah, they're just, it's a fight for survival. This is good or bad. It's just whoever is strongest wins. That's what Darwin said. <laughs> I thought it was like, you know, they were trying to like mine the earth and take over the earth and get rid of the people and stuff. Yes, like but that's really bad. bad for us. <laughs> yeah, but we're us. But what do we do every day? We march into a fucking forest, chop it down, build a farm, strip mine the fuck out of it, and then next thing you know, we've got Jersey. Yeah, but we're us. <laughs> I just love that phrase, we're us. <laughs> yeah, see? Like, it's almost like a zen riddle, so, except but, doesn't so make you think at all. Are we the bad guys? Well, I think that's clear, yes. No, we've we're always just, been the bad guys. We're, we're mad. We are okay. white men living in suburbia. Okay. We are we're like always evil. the bad guys. Okay. We're evil. We but mess up everything. But not all of us are evil. <laughs> There's gotta be someone out the, the Dalai Lama or something. something one like person. There's gotta be one yeah. person who's not a dick on this planet. The, the prophesized one, as the movie is always tells Neo. Us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> but... Uh, I love the fact that they've clearly been to Jersey. <laughs> um, they, they hate the earth just as much as you do. That was great. I will say this. Well, first off, I found it weird. Well, I guess it's Jersey, not New Jersey. But I find it weird that it's like, oh, it's Empire City. I'm like, oh, and it's then New York. Jersey. And yeah. then this is Jersey. I'm like, why don't you call it something else? You call that Empire City. <laughs> yeah. Like, I... But and I some and things never change. I guess I know it's, the, will never I know it's the Empire State. I know it's a reference to New York, but still, I'm like you. You called it by that name, and Jersey's still Jersey. Um, um, I I will say this. I do feel a little bad for Jersey because having been to New York, I'm like. New York isn't exactly paradise. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Like so, I, I'm like I'm like New York gets all this credit sitting there, and it's like, and then Jersey and oh I'm, no no no! I, been I to New will York. go. I will go out on a limb and offend both and say I am not a fan of either. <laughs> no, no, I will say this about New York City. Uh, you know, because all the stereotypes you hear are correct. There are a ton of dicks, but you get why. It's wall to wall people. You have to fight. For your space, it's you have like, to fight for your right to move because you like, are literally squeezed yeah, between it's everybody. It's like Tokyo without the politeness. Yeah, um, <laughs> but New York also has everything. Like everything is there. Everything like a lot of it's uh, affordable in terms of food. Like this amazing food. Oh, it, you can get oh, for a couple bucks because and it, it has amazing oh, culture yeah. and it has oh, all no. this stuff. Jersey, from what I've seen, <laughs> usually doesn't. It just has the dicks. There, like and the people is, that live in Jersey just live there so they can get out of Jersey. Hey. It's the, Nobody's like, I have a it's dream. It's the Garden State. I have a dream to go to Jersey. <laughs> no, nobody says that. Okay. You no, know. Let, no, so if you're there, I not, understand. All right, before but, they... Before, before, before Tony, Jersey acts like Jersey. Before Tony Soprano kills us. <laughs> <laughs> let's make one thing perfectly clear. The part of Jersey New York, near New York is really the worst part. Yes. The rest of Jersey actually isn't that bad. I, I have to say that is... It is called the Garden State for a reason. It's not, yeah, I, it's not awful. And let's be honest. Probably that part of Jersey is bad because New York's evil is seeping down into <laughs> That's it. That's a lot of truth. <laughs> it's the shitty near New York part of it. Um, it's like New York sort of snuck in and said, hey, you're in New York now. Oh, you're right. Uh, okay. New York. Yeah. How New, New York, York is that? We have to like dicks. Okay. <laughs> New York does have everything. And there is a very good reason for that. Because there would be no other fucking reason to live in New York <laughs> City. No reason whatsoever. If they didn't have good food and some culture there, it would it, it would be like a fucking Shyamalan movie. Everybody would be killing themselves. <laughs> Wait, can you tell where Chicago is? <laughs> But there's nothing wrong with Chicago at all. We're we're fucking amazing, especially our crime. Still number one, I believe. <laughs> number one. Number one. Yeah, well, only no, for, that, that, that's only, not Chicago. Well, that's side. only because yeah, yeah. we're a large city. There's actually cities with worse crime rate. Yeah. I think no. East St. Louis is still ahead of us per capita. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. See, so we got that going for it. We're still second city, even in crime. We're second to someone else. Oh no, we're fucking Gotham City, but it, you know. <laughs> 
We're not New York City. <laughs> we got that going for us. At least there's that. Um, yeah, I, but, won't de- I won't defend this shithole. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm just saying that we're nicer here, though. <laughs> okay, like, okay, honestly, walking on the streets of New York, how many, like, nice people did you meet versus people that literally, like, stole your umbrella and beat you with it? Because <laughs> that I, happened to me once stories, in New York man. City. It was, like, oh, no, raining. I, I got stories. But, again, yeah. but I, with all of it, I mean, to the credit, with I mean, everything, New York, Jersey, Chicago, I get it. it. It's not like, oh, they're just dicks for no reason. No, you have to be. I mean, it's totally understandable. So it's we're not, not dicks, like, though. what's wrong with you? No, we only what, shoot our own, not tourists. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, wow, we, we just went to a whole nother Fern Gully. <laughs> <laughs> they brought it up! They brought they, Jersey they brought into this! Jersey, they yeah. brought it And somehow City. we got offended you know and we went off on the ramp. You know what, you know what, you know, and we're not even from Jersey. Let's just, let's settle this right now. We're not talking about New York. We're talking about Empire City. Yeah, that's true. New York City is completely fine. Empire City sucks! <laughs> and not New Jersey, just Jersey. Just Jersey. Yeah. Yeah, see? This is all Steven Universe as well. Yeah. And they'll, they'll have, like, a say, just call, like, Shy town or something like that. And it'll just be like, everyone's dead from eating too much. <laughs> Everyone just has, like, heart attacks. <laughs> it's just one giant deep dish pizza with a city built. Uh, clinging on to some sports team saying, we can still win! <laughs> Dying of a heart oh, attack. Oh, God. <laughs> God, it's, uh, it's only fair. I, I had to attack us, too. Um, yes, our food is amazing. <laughs> it is. And it will kill you in a microsecond. <laughs> it's, it's designed to make you hibernate through the winter. <laughs> yes, that's what it is. That is true. It's, that's how we get we, to our winters. We deep dish pizza like bears. God damn it, we're talking like about bears this episode. Bears eat fish. <laughs> like, and then we just hibernate for six months. <laughs> we are talking about this episode. So, um, What is there left to talk about? Uh, you know, how... Peridot and Lapis. Ooh, are they gonna get along? I guess the next episode of Fight, that. fight, fight. <laughs> um, no, I, I really like this. I like, especially the backstory. I thought the colors and the simple background, the simple shapes, I thought was very effective. And But I'm kind of with you. It's like, it was so slow moving and fine. It was very that comfortable. That story bit in the middle was When like, suddenly all that oh, info fuck. comes, it was like, whoa, whoa. Because the same thing happened to me. I sort of tuned out for like a half second. I was like, whoa. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, I, I thought it was really nice. I like seeing this character back. One question for you. Because uh, when we first saw her... Really? After it went off on all that, you want to ask me a question? Yeah, yeah no, I, I do. Uh, when you first saw Lapis, when we first see her, she had mirrors for eyes. Everything was mm-hmm. reflected back. Uh, and then, like, she blinks, and you see her realize, would you think it'd be more effective if she had the mirror eyes all the time, or if she had, you saw the pupils? No, animation 101. Eyes are the windows to the soul. If you really want to, uh, forge a connection with the character, you're gonna need to see that, the eyes. That is my thought, but there's also, like... That's why anime works. That's why no, Disney works. No, 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 but I That's also why anime like, copied off of Disney. But I was gonna say, I kind of like, because I've seen this done with characters before, even though you're right about the eyes, that disconnect sometimes makes them a little bit more intriguing. For example, we didn't know that half of Garnet had only one eye because her eyes were always covered. But we're not, okay. So, so there's also like that disconnect that makes you a little bit but more But we're at the point where Lapis is supposed more. to be mysterious, but also we're supposed to sympathize with yes. it. Yes. So um, I don't get what the point of doing that would be. I feel like it would have more you of a tragedy. Failure in like, life. <laughs> like, she doesn't even have eyes. Like, we're supposed to feel bad. She doesn't even have eyes. It just makes her more sad. But I agree. it doesn't allow for as, a, as much expression. Um, I think where they're going with this, I don't think it would work. Well, I was going to say, especially because it's sounding more and more still, they want if, to make her like a regular well, character. Well, we if, if we were in the in-between stage mm. where she's becoming, like, I could see it working there. But at this point, I'm like, well, it's clear they just want to make her sympathetic. Yeah, so. at some point, he'd probably have to show the real eyes. Uh, so, yeah, and then we'll, it'll be interesting if they keep her around, like they keep Paradon around. I mean, maybe she'll be a regular now, character. Now, people from I'll... Jersey, they have mirror eyes. <laughs> so they, they it burn through your soul. It's like it reflects off. Like, That's why they're so angry, because they look at one another. And they see themselves. I, uh. Is there anyone, anyone on the planet we haven't offended? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. I'm hoping we got everybody. Including our own shitbird. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. that that's the fun. I don't discriminate. I hate everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I hate myself. Yeah, <laughs> especially you, dick. 